Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people, and today we'll be reviewing... Whoa, this thing is really loosey-goosey today. Have to tighten this thing up. Yeah, sorry about that, fans. If you pop loose, I'm going to have to tighten this thing. See, thing, pain in the neck has never done that before. Now it works. Okay, we'll be reviewing some 90s Disney characters, including a figure from Avatar. And this is my very first figure from the movie Avatar. This is a posable action figure. It used to light up, but it doesn't anymore. I think the batteries finally died in this thing. Yeah. It's lighting up when I first got it. Other than that, the batteries are gone. It's still a pretty good action figure for a Mickey D's action figure. He kicks. Good leg movement. So they gave him some decent articulation, even though his legs are a bit tight on my copy. But not a bad looking figure, especially. That figure wasn't from the 90s. Speaking of the 90s, we got James Hawkin from Treasure Planet. I loved the movie Treasure Planet when I was a kid. The pirate, space pirate movie was awesome. And this is an articulated action figure of James Hawkin. Knees got some bend, no ankle tilt, no arm movement, hand movement, some but not a lot. Head movement, no ball joint, but not a bad looking figure. I got this one from the flea market with that Jake Solly, I think for a quarter each, so that was 50 cents a figure. This is one I got from the Goodwill outlet by the pound. And this is the Disney's 101 Dalmatians Pongo, the sweet lovable dog. And yes, I love dog action figures, and I pick them up. And he was definitely in the 90s, my favorite. Speaking of Disney, we got a mini pop. Peter Pan. It's off to Neverland. Not a bad looking toy. And we got older S Simba. Finally. Legs move. Pretty good. No knee bends or anything like that. But definitely another one of my favorite 90s Disney characters, for sure. We got the uh, main guy from Pocahontas, also from the Goodwill Outlet. I don't know his name, but he was he liked that Indian girl a lot. But yeah, she, he's definitely a nice add-on to my Disney collection. And we got Ariel from... From the Little Mermaid. And yeah, this is her in her human form in her wedding dress. And that's cute about her. So I'm going to keep her in my personal collection. Because she's another one of my favorite 90s Disney characters here. Next on the list, we got this figure. I think it's from Encanto. Not a 90s Disney, but still an action figure. Why well, I picked her up. Next on the 90s list, we got some of these Mickey Mouse figures. I think I have quite a few of them. Let's see, where's the other one? Ah, uh, yes, I got four of these. These do have some arm articulation, knee bend, but no separatable legs other than that. Got classic Mickey, police officer Mickey, and this one's arms doesn't move. Shame, really. Uncle Sam Mickey. Happy 4th of July, YouTube land. And yeah, definitely some of my new favorite Mickey Mouse action figures. Speaking of Mickey's friend, we got Donald Duck. Why not? He's Donald Duck. And be like, Meh. he's always angry gonna knock off Little Mermaid figure. 
So articulated arms get some movement, not much. But he's kind of like a knockoff Ariel in mermaid form. Definitely going on the Disney shelf for sure. Belle from Beauty and the Beast. It's a little display figure, not an action figure. Another Disney character I do know, it's Jafar from Aladdin. So another 90s figure for sure. It's uh, Simba's friend, Simone. That's his name, and he is from the 90s as well. So we got another 90s Disney. <laughs> I love it when I find Disney figures. We got the prince from The Little Mermaid. This is not a detailed action figure. It's more meant for display purposes. Why not? Dare I say why not? And we got Cruella de Vil. Cruella de Vil. From 101 Dalmatians. Some articulation. No bendable knees or anything. But it still counts as a good looking action figure. And we got Pluto. From Disney, another 90s character I love so much. Pluto's a dog, and I love that dog. Why not? Speaking of 90s, we got a 90s Aladdin figure with a lot more articulation. Why not? Bendable arms and junk. Head is on a ball joint. Got ab crunch. Pretty good. No articulated knees, but still a good-looking figure from the 90s, Aladdin. We got another Aladdin. This is him in his royal robes. Why not? Okay, who else we got here? Are any of you, if any of you don't remember this cartoon, it was definitely in the 90s when I was growing up. It was the cartoon known as Recess. This is the uh, Poindexter girl. Look at that. She's got a tennis racket, so you can go hitting some balls or anything at anyone. But definitely one figure I was so stoked to find. Love finding some vintage Disney characters. I think that's another kid from that pirate, that, uh, not pirates, that uh, Disney Peter Pan continuation cartoon. I forget his name, but I have two of this guy in my collection now. Speaking of Aladdin, we got Princess Jasmine. Definitely another version of her that I like to find. I still want to find a posable figure of Princess Jasmine. We got Moana from the movie Maui. Or, it's not an articulated figure, but it's still pretty cool. And we got some more Toy Story, and this is the Canadian Motorcycle Rider guy. I forget his name. If you know his name, please leave me a comment. But he is not from the 90s, though. Got him for a quarter. Next on the list, my first ever Toy Story RC. Yes, the little race car. Definitely going on my Disney shelf of Toy Story figures, for sure. Next on the list, we got two figures of Mulan from the movie. This is her with the armor, and this is her without it. Definitely so stoked to find figures of her. Some articulation, no bendable elbows. Head doesn't move. Legs can bend. Get her in some running poses and be like, running. And But she was always cute in Disney's... Mulan. And I like it that I got two figures of her. One with the armor and one without. I am definitely going to keep her in my collection. And that is all there is to review this week. And starting Wednesday, we'll be getting back to reviewing starting Wednesday. And probably Friday will be my last reviews of this week. So we are going to be reviewing some more Disney, some more toys, starting Wednesday. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to review for Wednesday, 
Then we'll get back to normal reviews starting Thursday. Sunday. So we'll get back to normal Sunday of next week. But this is what we're reviewing next week. It's Transformers. Michael Bay 2017 movie Brawl. And I'm so glad to, to be reviewing him finally complete. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.